Huskies originally came from a type of wolf found in Northern Asia and Russia. They were first domesticated and bred by a person named the Chukchi, who used the dogs both as working sled dogs and as companion animals. In 1930 the Husky was recognized by the AKC. The breed standard allows a variety of colors, black, brown, gray, sable, red, and also agouti. Agouti Huskies are primarily found in working and sled dog lines, they are not common in the show ring and rarely part of litters whelped by confirmation breeders. Agouti is a gene occurring in multiple different types of animals, such as horses, mice, and also dogs. It is responsible for the amount and distribution of melanin. In dogs, there are different representations of the gene, which can cause a dog to look fawn or sable, have tan points, or a coloring of the wild type. A Goody Husky refers to a Husky with a wild type coloring, which is also called Wolf Sable. Each individual hair of a wild type colored dog has several bands alternating in black and tan color. This gives the dog the characteristic dark color that can be hard to pinpoint. Each hair of the agouti husky is banded essentially striped in black and brown. Agouti huskies can have some white markings. The majority of their body however appears very dark. Their eyes can either be brown or have the typical blue husky eye color. How big do agouti huskies get? Agouti huskies reach the same adult size as any other color of husky. For males, this is between 21 and 23.5 inches in height and 45 to 60 pounds in weight. Females will stand 20 to 22 inches at the withers and reach 35 to 50 pounds in weight. You can use our handy husky growth chart calculator to estimate your husky puppy's adult weight. They are very rare. You are unlikely to find an agouti husky from confirmation lines. If you want to get an agouti husky, contacting breeders of working sled dog racing lines is your best bet. But watch out. You should never get a dog based on looks alone. Huskies of all colors are high energy working dogs hardwired to run for long distances. They are not a good fit for most families who are looking to simply get a pet and companion animal. Unless you have a lot of space and adequate ability to let your husky run every day, do not decide on one. Huskies are generally very friendly and outgoing dogs. They love to run and play and don't typically show reactivity towards people. Huskies will not bite unless provoked and get along very well with humans and dogs. Their social butterfly temperament however, does not mean that they are easygoing family dogs. Huskies require a lot of physical exercises. If you can't provide your husky with at least 1.5 hours of off-leash running every day, do not get one. A border goody husky can become highly destructive and cause a lot of damage to his owner's home. Due to the dark color of these dogs, it is highly advisable to have them wear a high visibility collar.
Huskies that do not have sufficient mental and physical outlets for their energy can tear apart your couch, scratch holes in your door frames and walls, and eat everything they find. Many adolescent Huskies are surrendered to shelters because of their intense need for activity and tendency to do significant damage. In general, it cannot be said that Agouti Huskies are the easiest dogs to train. Whenever we are accessing how easy or difficult a dog is to train, we need to consider his original breed purpose. Huskies were bred to race with sleds in extreme weather conditions, over extensive distances without showing signs of exhaustion. They are made to just run. Huskies do not work together as closely with their humans as herding dogs such as the Border Collie or Australian Shepherd. While a sled dog handler would give the lead dog directions and instructions, most of the time the majority of the team just runs. This means that in developing the breed, there was no focus on the will to please. Agouti Huskies are very independent dogs that will not always pay attention to what you are asking them to do. Most Huskies can never safely be off-leash in an unfenced area, it can be extremely difficult to teach them to not run away. Chances are that you will not be able to find these dogs in rescue very easily. As mentioned, the coloring primarily occurs in racing lines. These dogs are very unlikely to end up surrendered to a shelter. Even though rescuing is always a great idea and should be considered as an alternative to buying a purebred dog, in the case of Agouti Huskies you will probably not find any. Let's go.